Hello and welcome to Current Affairs on JTV. Today's topic, Jewish students on university campuses, just what is going on? And joining me in the JTV studio, I've got Ben Hayton from UCL, Johnny Neumann from Jewish Human Rights Watch and Deborah Cuffey from Queen Mary's. So thanks for joining me, um, all of you. Uh, let me start with Johnny. Um, obviously you're not a student, but you uh, keep a close look at what's happening on campuses. What is driving this wave of hostility that we're seeing? I think it's the, it's, it's the BDS movement which is you know, fundamentally anti-Semitic. And you know, you, it's very easy, I think one of the easiest ways to tell an anti-Semite or to tell anti-Semitism is when people have a general rule for everyone but then ex make an exception for that rule for the Jews. And I think we see this on campus with freedom of speech and with safe spaces, both in the UK and the US and, and elsewhere. So freedom of speech, when, when the anti-Semitic BDS uh, folks on campus bring over a speaker and, and people sit, and, and, and Jewish students and others um, you know, say that this is, this is someone who makes us feel uncomfortable, someone who's potentially inciting, uh, inciting against us, um, they're shouted down. You know, free speech, we have to hear this person and so on. And yet, of course, when it comes to Jewish speakers coming to campus, the Israeli ambassador, Israeli lawmakers and so on, those events are violently disrupted and, 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 and try to bring to, to a close. So freedom speaks for everyone but the Jews. And of course, the boycott movement in itself is about boycotting these Jewish speakers. And, and the same with, with safe spaces, where you know, we see um, bulls in, in colleges in this country, in, in the States as well, uh, where costumes are restricted or the bulls are cancelled because certain costumes may uh, offend certain minorities uh, and this and that. And yet when it comes to the very real intimidation and the very real offence taken, um, and even danger to, to Jewish students um, by the BDS movement, um, there's no safe space for them. Safe spaces for everyone, but not the Jews. Ben, would you agree with that comment? I mean, do you think yeah. that there is one rule being applied here for Jewish students and one rule for well, others? Well, we've, we've experienced it. We, we had in the former Israeli ambassador, Daniel Taub, come into our university, and the union made sure that there was someone in the room censoring every single thing he said, limiting the conversation, and gave rules about what he was and wasn't allowed to say. Um, and right after that meeting that he had, which was... Who was that from the university? Who um, it was a member of the union that they'd, they'd selected a member of the union to come in and sit through and, and note everything that was being said. And then following this, there was a meeting with the, a bigger society in the university where two people had to be dragged out shouting profanities at the, at the ambassador. Um, and we've had, this, we've had this at the beginning of the year, especially at the beginning of this year, we had a representative of the president's office who came into the university and we didn't know that these people would be coming, but a whole cohort of, of, of uh, Palestine society came in uh, un, uninvited and refused to leave the room. And then when the speaker began to engage with them, uh, and he did so very well, I think, he did so fairly, and asked, answered their questions as best as he could, they started comparing the Israeli government to Nazis, um, and they were very aggressive. And, and their main protest at the time, this is when the stabbings had only just begun, was that the people who were stabbing these, these, these people, these innocent civilians on the street, that they had been treated with uh, brutal force. They had no complaint, no criticism for uh, the, young, the young man that day who'd just stabbed an Israeli teenager to death. Interesting. Now, Devorah, um, taking that on, on, onto account, do you feel intimidated on campus? And how is this, if you are, yeah. how is this um, working itself out into the ordinary lives of Jewish students? It's good you asked that because I had to call CST um, a few weeks ago in my complaint to the university for what happened. Um, a group of Muslim students were on a sidewalk as I was exiting university um, and I recognized one of them. They were at the event with the terrorists and as I walked by they made a comment, oh that's the girl that complained and they, they shouted and they screamed for me to stop um, and I continued walking and as quickly as I could went into the underground but I called CST um, and I don't think anything happened out of that but that's just an example of how Jewish students do feel intimidated on campus um, and we're seeing a growing trend of that now in the past few months. Johnny obviously you're watching from a human rights perspective do you think Jewish students human rights are being infringed here? Yes, I, th I mean, when, when, you know, when you have stories, it's very simple, you know, when you have stories of, um, of, of students, um, we have two here, and we've heard many other stories as well, people come to our organisation, we've seen media reports of Jewish students feeling intimidated, being less inclined to go to universities for this reason, then, then clearly there is a major problem that needs to be addressed. How can we turn the tide here, Ben? I think we can embrace more opportunities to have open discussions with more, as many students as we can, platforms, debates, um, bring in good speakers and be organised. Don't be taken on the back foot here.
take the initiative. Devora? I agree. Um, to add on to that, I feel like we should address more positive sides of Israel. Past month, we had Israel apartheid weeks, and so we handed out falafels, played music, showed the positive aspects of Israel, and got them to engage in a discussion. So I feel like that was really positive. We got a really positive vibe from different students, and they learned a lot about Israel, things they didn't know before. So that really affected their perception of what's going on there. Okay, Johnny, we've heard what the students have said, obviously, on this. They're, they're on the front lines. Yeah. You, you know, you've got a bit of a uh, helicopter view from above. What, what do you think uh, could be done to uh, win this war? Ultimately, and above all, the students have to remain safe on campus, um, and that needs to be their, their priority and the priority of those seeking their welfare outside, both in the Jewish community and, and beyond. That's crucial. And students need to monitor what the other side are doing and to work with the authorities uh, on campus and off campus, with the CST, with the police, with the university authorities, um, to, uh, to ensure that, that, that safety and the welfare of, the, of, of Jewish students is, is maintained. But beyond that, there's a role for people outside the university as well. These are you know, the incubators of our future leaders, and it's vital that we pay attention to what's going on there. And unfortunately, what is going on with the BDS movement on campus goes right to the top of some of the political parties in this country, and it is they who really must take responsibility for what is, what is happening on our campuses. Okay, thanks. Well, that's all I'm afraid we've got time for. So thank you, Ben. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Devorah. And thank you all for joining us. We hope to see you again soon for another episode of Current Affairs on JTV.